Hello everyone, welcome to the House of Horrors. Now today we're going to be touching base on yet another mega scale Mezco figure based on a particular horror figure. And we're going to be concentrating on the 2017 version of Pennywise from Stephen King's It. Okay, that's what we're going to talk about. Now the box you're seeing in front of you is absolutely fucking gigantic, okay? <laughs> because these figures are 15 inches tall. So... It takes a big box, so I'm going to try to show you the box and the artwork, and I'm probably going to have to bring it in on the side because it is gigantic, okay? So let's concentrate on this. Now, the, the figure's not in here, obviously, as you can clearly see, okay? But there is a lot of glare because of the plastic and stuff. I want to show you some of the artwork, okay? It says, uh, talking figure right there is the MDS Mega Scale, okay? And that's what it looks like on the bottom of it, okay? This is the actual front, okay? Now that's very cool looking right here. And that's, that's wicked looking. Love that artwork. And it's based on the figure too, so yeah. Very cool. It! Beanie Wise! Uh, it's got the hole just like any other um, mega scale where you reach in and just push the button and it usually plays like three sounds but when you switch the actual switch up it plays like seven different sounds or whatever sounds that are available okay now I'm going to show you some of the uh, written I'm going to lift the camera up for this and you can kind of read it for yourself if you want to stop the actual video okay This way you can get an idea of what she looks like. It's a very cool looking figure. Now I will tell you this, there is another figure based on the Mega Scale versions of Pennywise. And his mouth is full of fucking teeth. Okay, I might get that further down the line, but I have to wait on that one. Okay. Okay. That's the balloon and that's uh, Georgie. I think his name is, yeah, Georgie, yep. Yo, flow too, yo, flow too. <laughs> it's freaking cool, they got some cool sounds on this thing. All right, enough about the box art. Let me show you the top of it. And that's what she looks like right there, okay. The bottom, yeah, it's pretty much blank with the information based on uh, Mezco and all that good stuff right there. Alright, enough about the box. Let's talk about the figure in itself, okay? Now, as you notice, I kind of pushed everything back because well, this guy is huge, okay? Let me pull his head down a little bit. There you go. I'm going to adjust the camera. And there we go. Now we will go into the sound effects here in a second. I got to turn it on, but I just want to show you what the actual figure looks like. The, the head is made of maybe like a, a resin or something. Not a resin, but it's plastic is what it is. Okay. But the detail is absolutely amazing on this thing. I don't know if this is doing justice or not, but you can see the eyes are wicked looking. All right. And the hair. Like I said, this thing's huge, okay? It's all made of plastic, the head is. Okay? Right, now, in the back here, if you pull it apart, alright? Oh, don't rip it now. You can see the actual switching and the buttons. Okay? Whoops. Get off of that, okay? So, we'll turn that on eventually, but I want to show you the actual um, costume that he wears. It's actually made of a nice material. Okay. Now these, just like any other Mezco figure, like uh, the Living Dead dolls. Okay. The articulation on these is just in the shoulders, and the hands on oh, the elbows too. Okay. These are different articulations. Okay. Cool. The Living Dead dolls they only move in the shoulders, and the rest of the arms are solid, which is not a bad thing because basically you just you're gonna leave it on your shelf and make it look pretty. You know what I'm saying? 
Alright, now the head, like I said, can move all the way around. It's on a ball joint. And it goes all the way back, too. You will float down! <laughs> It's a very cool costume too. It's very old, I don't know. I don't know what the style is, but Victorian style maybe? Because he's very, very old. And he keeps coming back, I think, every 27 years, I think. Alright. The pants, okay. And he's got a big butt too. <laughs> the shoes. The bottom of the shoes. Now you can see these things are absolutely huge. So you can sit this anywhere. You wouldn't even have an issue with it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of get this thing to activate for me. Okay. And then we're going to play some sound effects. Okay. Are you ready for the sound effects, guys? Here we go. Here's the best one. <laughs> That's fucking awesome right there. And that's pretty much uh, pretty much pretty much all the sound effects on this particular figure. Now the Chucky ones that I got, uh, they have a little bit more sound effects. Let me try pulling it down and see if there's more this way. Oh, well, I'm Pennywise, the dancing clown. <laughs> oh, well, I'm Pennywise, so, the dancing clown. Now that's pretty much it on the sound effects. Some of these have a whole lot, but these, because it's got that one particular yield flow to, I think that's absolutely cool. Okay, But that's it on the sound effects. And that's my mega scale version of Pennywise. Now I do have the uh, the 1990 version. It's actually cheaper than this one here. These usually run a little over $100 at Big Bad Toy Store. And I have a tendency to pick them up. I also got another mega scale coming in. And it's based on Michael Myers from Halloween 2, I believe it is. And we're going to check that out once that comes in, becomes available. And the 1990 version should be here within the week, okay? Because I just literally just ordered it, so. So we're going to wait for that to come in, and we're going to check out the sound effects and, you know, check out the figure in itself. But in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, as I will be pushing out some more videos as time progresses. So keep that in mind. In the meantime, you guys have yourselves a good night.